Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to move photos from laptop to Android phone. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we move photos from our laptop to our Android phone? Well, it's actually pretty easy here. Well, the first thing we need to do is we first need to install an app. So in this case, let's go and click on Play Store or Google Play Store here. Now look for the following, which is going to be Wi-Fi FTP server. So what we are going to do here is we are actually going to create a server on our phone so that we'll be able to drag photos into our actual phone. Let's go ahead and click on open or download here. Since I already installed it, I just need to actually uh, open the app. So again, download it and open up the app. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to actually go ahead and click on the start button. Let's go ahead and click on start. Now from here, it's going to actually uh, set up some um, a section here, which in this case, you need to choose a folder that you want to choose for the server itself. So in this case, I want to actually move photos into my pictures folder here. Let's go and choose pictures. And from here, let's go and click on use this folder. Now from here, it's going to say allow FTP server access to files and pictures. Let's go and click on allow. And from here, what we need to do next is we now need to actually uh, go back into our screen. Now, from here, what we need to do next is we now need to actually um, go to our PC and basically enter a few things here. So first things first is you need to copy your server URL here. So remember to actually remember the server URL that you see on your screen. So in this case, once you've remembered that, or once you have it handy on your uh, hand, let's go ahead and go to our PC. So right now I'm in my PC. So in this case, what we need to do is we now need to open up a, uh, Explorer here and uh, from the following folder. So make sure you go to this PC section. What you need to do is we need to right click on the device and drives here and you want to click on add a network location. Now, by the way, it is integral that your PC as well as your uh, your uh, actual phone that you're using right now as a server actually is using the same network or same Wi-Fi connection. Because again, it's really important that they are in the same server or same connection. But in this case, go and click on next. From here, you want to choose a net custom network location. Let's go and click on next. And from here, we just need to type in the uh, connection that we actually, or the server URL that we copied. So in this case, let's go and start typing that in here. Yeah, once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on the next button here. And it's going to say log on anonymously, which in this case, let's go ahead and click on next. And from here, it's going to say type a name for this network location. So you could either enter the uh, following uh, or keep the following name here. So if you want to customize that, but for now, let's go and click on next. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on finish here. And that should open up the following uh, location, which in this case, you could go ahead and just uh, drag in any photo that you have right now. So in this case, this is the folder that we just created and connected on our phone. Let's go ahead and go back or basically transfer some photos here. Let's go to our downloads and look for a photo that we want to actually transfer. So maybe I want to transfer this photo here. Let's drag it into our folder here. As you can see, we were able to move that. Now in this case, uh, you could go ahead and go back into your phone. So let's go and switch over to our phone. So in your phone, once you're done, go ahead and click on the stop button here so that you will now be uh, seizing access on your uh, Wi-Fi or your uh, Android device here. Now, once you've done that, you could go ahead and go to your photos here since I actually transferred a photo. As you can see, we now have that photo transferred in our mobile phone, which is actually pretty easy. Just follow the steps and the tips that I give you and you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.